I'm saying all this because, in a way, there's been a struggle to recenter the importance of indigenous cultures, the Native American cultures, the Mestizo cultures, and the peoples who are now here, and to reanalyze the contributions to the, the role of society and to recorrect the distorted histories that have been written about them, or to include history that was not even included before, not even distorted histories, ignored. And so there's that effort that's been happening for a number of decades. And I've been, and I've been everybody else, my colleagues here, have been working intellectually and before as activists to make this happen. And we work with both parties. We work with the Democratic Party, we work with the Republican Party, we work in other kind of settings as well. All this is to lay back a framework then to try to help us understand and pass forward to the present this idea of a national museum in America Latina. The work of the South are very noted. Uh, the commission was established uh, by a legislation that was enacted in 2008, really, uh, really pushed by Javier Becerra, an LA congressman, and appointments were made by Nancy Pelosi, uh, Terry Lee, and President Bush. 22 people were selected. The commission was not activated until after Obama was elected. I was fortunate to be one of the people selected by Bush. Mom picked out the Bush appointees, and I was I and another fellow from Florida survived, and we joined with other colleagues in the bipartisan commission, charged with responsibility to look at the desirability, the feasibility of the National Museum. And we went with a lot of business to do that. We had a two-year framework to go to that, and we actually concluded in a little more than a year. We really want to speed it up. We were under the jurisdiction of the Secretary of Interior. In Salazar and the contract with National Park Service to help us with the contracting of different consulting groups to look at various aspects of what the museum would look like. Uh, we have a team that focuses on collection of programs, we had another team that looked at governance, uh, one that looked at communication and marketing, the team that focused on site, where would it be, uh, and then also one on fundraising and procurement. We had various consultations. <laughs> this is the press conference for the Commission of Law. Uh, you can see there's certain people there that uh, was Secretary Salazar, Ivo Lavoya, and other folks here. Uh, the press, I think, had a great press conference. They were there primarily because of that, but not because of the rest of us. Guarantee that.
The Customs Museum, uh, while well, we submitted a report to the Congress and the President in May 5, 2010, the Customs Museum, the cost of 463 million in terms of projection, half of which would be raised in the private sector, another half of which would be raised or allocated and outright by the Congress. The Smithsonian Institution uh, agreed to take this if we wanted to Smithsonian Museums. We asked that we have a capital site on the mall as a place that the museum will be built. This is a set of parking lot. That was not going to happen. That was the first choice. The second choice was the, uh, on the mall, also the Dotson Initiative Building, so which is vacant. And, and we we're hoping that that would be the site uh, ultimately. I'm not going to get into all the details of the museum, which is still have to go through and to share with you the different components parts of the report. Uh, 
phenotype, etc. And so it's very important for us to be on the mall and to be in, in Washington. But it's also almost a geographic fallacy to think just because you're in Washington, D.C., an ecological fallacy, to think just because you're in Washington, you're national. And that's, I think, a trap on our level that some of these institutions have, is that they are national by definition. They are national because they're in Washington, D.C., but they're not necessarily national in terms of programming and visibility and interaction. We see we have an opportunity to create a museum that by design from the very beginning can model itself and redesign of what a national museum would be, which would be various locations. The, the arts and industry building, the museum wise, is rather small, very problematic to work, only part of it in terms of uh, temperature control, things of that sort. But we have the administrative offices somewhere else, the warehouses somewhere else, and actually a lot of the exhibitions can be in other places, the Sony. We want American art to continue to collect, to really begin to collect in a significant way Latino art. We don't want them to say, well, there's a Latino museum, we don't have to do that. But nobody says that about other non Latino art in the United States. We have a lot of art museums throughout the country that covers the same area. And nobody questions that. Say you want to attend these specific museums, you can't have that. You really should be integrated in the entire fabric. Well, we want to be in all the museums. We also want to have a special museum on the mall to highlight this aspect of American history and American culture. So let me just stop there and uh, I'll just flash real quick to you.